Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh! Goodness. Oh, my! So it's finally sinking in. Just over a month ago, I've quit my job to be able to do YouTube uh, or kind of focus on YouTube, making YouTube videos full time, and I'm making, you know, making money off of it. And thank you for everyone that subscribed. 27,000 subscribers. It's, it's hard to believe that many people subscribed uh, to my channel and be able to, been able to allow me to be able to do things like this. Here today, I'm at the uh, Little River in East Tennessee, and um, I've never been here before. Uh, I got hooked up with a guy. I'm gonna uh, kayak down it. Supposed to be some smallmouth and good stuff like that. It's uh, you know middle of October, so hopefully the fish are hitting. There's one. Something. Red breast. Yes, yeah, right. Counts as a fish. Pretty good size one. Oh, oh great. Now he's on the boat. All right, first fish of the day. The water's looking really, really good. Let's go for some more. If I ain't catching food, I get hungry quick. Or if I ain't catching fish, I get hungry. If I'm catching fish, I don't think about it. <laughs> oh. Oh. He hit it three times. He's still there. Let me see. Uh, I can't, some kind of bass. I can't tell. There he is. Oh, it came off. Missed him four times already. Just that kind of day. There he is. Oh. Finally! <laughs> Look at that giant. <laughs> Barely get the thing in the kayak. Uh, looks like a large mouth. Missed him on the, uh, the little rappel joint. He, he hit it like three times, kept hitting at it. Went back with the Helgramite and they're picking up first largemouth, first bass. It's been kind of slow. We've been out two hours. So hopefully it picks up. There's a fish. You got one too? Finally got one. I got spotted bass. Man, he's a chunky one though. You got a small mouth? <laughs> Both caught one at the same time. I used to switch to the uh, Nico swim bait. Man, that's a chunky little guy. All right, man, it's definitely been a grind try to catch this but man that's a cool fish really thick fish right there nice now, he didn't hesitate he just nailed it I don't know if it was the lure or just the right cast I just watched this little rock bass come hit it out of this brush pile, right where he caught that smallmouth. We've caught three fish out of this area, and we've gone through, we're at four hours into this trip. It's been pretty long.
There's one. Uh, he's coming my way, so I can't tell. Oh, is it a smallmouth? Yes, I got one. All right. Two to three o'clock. That's my fishing hour. I was just, we were just talking about how I always catch all my fish between like two and three, at least the biggest one. And I've caught these three fish in 10 minutes. It's like 2.45. Pretty little small mouth right there. <laughs> They're pecking at it. I can see them like little, just like taking, trying to take a bite out of my. <laughs> They're a uh, bluegill. There's one. Oh, good, good. I don't know where he came from. Easy, easy. I guess I should use my net, but. Six pound. Yeah, that's my go-to. Man, he just inhaled that lure. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's not bad there. Not bad at all. Now he's bleeding a little bit. Uh, he wasn't bleeding too bad, I don't think so. Oh yeah. There's one. Get back behind me here. Oh, that's a nice bass. Now, it may not be bigger than the last one. Oh, hold on. Hold on, little buddy. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good fish there. Good smallmouth. That's my biggest one. I switched to this little Nico uh, swim bait um, paddle tail thing. I just got a little, like a regular jig head on it. It's not a swim jig head or anything. But because um, I was getting caught up with the grass and everything. And since I did that, I've caught a lot more fish. But he's got some kind of little sore on him right there, but it's a pretty nice little fish. Oh my, this, oh, might not be as big as I thought, but maybe he caught me on a log because he just, he just stopped it and pulled back. He felt like twice as big as that last one at first. I don't know if he was stuck on a log or something. Still pretty good one as I run into a tree here. Now he's still pretty good size, but man, I don't know what I hit or what he was juiced up on. He felt really, really strong. But this little swim bait is still working. I've thrown it on six pound line, and it's been, you know, plenty enough. It's a six pound extra tough. Plenty enough to bring these fish in. Nice one. There's one. Well, that one was where he should be at least. Whoa! He's a high flyer. Probably floating over a couple other ones, but a little uh, minimal thing is getting it done. There's a little one. Oh! He's pretty small, but he was just following beside it. Oh yeah. <laughs> I took the took the side where there's fish. Oh, rock bass. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Oh, easy. You paddle back up and come back down it. <laughs> 
I think there, there's probably more fish. Well, this little hole is loaded. It's like, go back down through there. <laughs> well, I might do it too. Oh, we got one. What are you paying attention? Trying to pedal. Oh, another juicy rock bass. Come on. A little rock bass when I kind of let it let it suspend while I was paddling. Do I got him? Oh, I do have him. Little one. Well, he's decent. Come here. Oh, he was He was fighting for a minute and then he stopped. But, oh, that's not bad. Pretty little guy. All right, that's another good fish. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh. Goodness. Oh my. This. Oh. Dude, I don't know if I can get him up here. Come on. Come on. Don't break my line. Where's he at? No, he's taking me under a tree. Oh. This is a giant, giant. Oh no, 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 no. It's under the boat. Oh, come out. Get out of that tree. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, man, that's a giant. For me to catch, anyways. That is. Oh, he was barely hooked. Barely hooked on there. Six pound line held up really good. That's a nice fish right there. Yeah. Oh, I gotta see what this one weighs. Oh, this thing's going crazy. Well, I won't know what he weighs, but I can at least get a measurement. See if he's a tarp. I don't think it has to be 20 inches long to be a trophy. He is. Eight, well, just, yeah, right at 18. All right, 18 inches long. Come on, get him back in the water real quick. Oh. I'm going to say he's two pounds. I'd give it three. Yeah, I don't know. He's pretty thick, but. He's pretty nice fish. All right. My scale's not working. He's 18 inches long. Look at him just go straight back down. That was awesome. Oh, I didn't get it on this camera. <laughs> Uh, I can't think when I get a good fish. A little, a little small mouth. We're just about to the end, and my, uh, my storage on my other camera was full and I didn't want to change so we only got just a little bit more to go a little small mouth ah, oh yeah come here they like the white sunbait that's why did I try anything else <laughs> That's a pretty colored one right there. 
Well, thanks for watching. This definitely was a, a kind of a long day, but I had a great time paddling a uh, little river in the East Tennessee. Thanks for David for helping me out, getting me out there with the kayaks and everything. I fished for probably an hour at least, top water, uh, kind of in the morning time when we were there and didn't get a single bite. And then an hour towards the evening as we were about done, didn't get a single bite. I really hardly caught anything or got any bites until I switched to this little uh, swim bait. It's a, it's a Nico swim bait. I don't, you know, it's just like a white, like a, I guess a white shad uh, colored little swim thing. And, it, and that action on it isn't, you know, super awesome. You know, it does get wiggle, but sometimes it kind of just looks kind of straight. And I even had the hook in there sometimes kind of crooked. Uh, I kind of redid it a couple of times. But man, the fish were just nailing this little thing. And it's just, you know, a perfect size for the small fish and the big fish to come up and hit it. David had caught like three or four small mouths before I caught my first one. And that was before I switched to these. And when I switched to these, I really started catching fish. If I would have started with these and went through the whole time, I probably would have caught t twice as many fish. But that's part of fishing. You just never know what you're going to find or what you're going to need. It's always uh, fun just covering some water and kind of moving through there and seeing, find out where the fish, where the fish are and what they're hitting on. And some spots we thought we had it figured out and we still didn't catch stuff. Then we go to another spot and boom, there'll be a bunch of fish hitting there. All right, well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely had a good time out there and uh, definitely enjoyed catching that 18 inch smallmouth.